Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Stasis subclass trailer that got introduced, what, Friday, I think? I don't, to, I don't remember to be quite honest, but yeah, it was pretty cool. I watched it while the Gamescom event was going on and I'm going to be just straight out with it. I'm kind of disappointed to be quite honest. Uh, in my opinion, they hyped this up kind of like oh we're gonna see a lot more when in fact we just saw another trailer of just literally the same thing we do f we there is some b-roll footage as well but i don't think it's enough there is like literally the names of the supers and whatnot but in my opinion it just just i felt like it needed more but let's straight up look on it i'm probably not gonna stop it too much because honestly it's not a lot that we already don't know aside from like the, the names of the open. fucking the subclasses which i think are cool not gonna lie but yeah this uh this trailer was just kind of uh i was like was that it are you serious Focus your power. and this is coming from a guy who had like had notes ready i was like super ready for it and just kills my soul it really does So, Shade Binder, really cool name. I like I said, I look, I like the names of all the subclasses. I think they're all fucking cool. The Warlocks have a lot of cool things that they have. Obviously, if you guys don't know, I posted the Warlock subclass showcase. Now, here's something I definitely wanted to talk about because when I saw it, I got a little suspicioso. That's suspect as fuck, my guy. Now. If you guys don't know, this is this looks like Beloved. I'm not going to say this is Beloved because you know, might never know. It might just be like, this looks very like similar, but it's not, you know, all this dumb shit. Now, it could either A, be a Europa weapon, B, the raid weapon, C, just some random weapon that we'll get. And the thing that bugs me the most is the fact that the model looks almost almost exactly like beloved now, if you guys don't know beloved has a legendary skin that's essentially this skin i'll probably have it up in the screen at right now hopefully but you'll understand why a lot of people are concerned because beloved's supposed to be sunset next season but then bungie brings back this weapon and it's basically just making people think that oh you guys are just gonna sunset or put shit in the vault just to sell it back to us does it look cool it does it looks really cool i like the the cloth material that's around the weapon but if i'm being honest my initial reaction was is that fucking beloved oh my god don't tell me we're getting fucking beloved again because the whole reason we're getting Sunset was... Actually, I fucking hate the idea of Sunset, but what the fuck ever. Let's just say I did not... I did not receive this weapon kindly. I was actually a little... Like, more than just bothered, to be quite honest. I think it's bullshit. And they better have a good explanation to, as to why this shit looks like Beloved. I saw a few people saying that this is Beloved before it became Beloved. Because if you guys don't know Beloved... The weapon types are actually weapons from Earth, but Callus took them and basically made them his. That's why you see all the gold and like the gems on it. Now, if you know the skin for the Beloved, the one that looks exactly like this one, it's basically how it used to look before it, be it became Callus's weapon. Now, a lot of people are saying this is like the Golden Age version of that. If that's the case, I guess I can let it slide. I would like whatever, but honestly, it just bugs me. And to, to reiterate, this is not a legendary skin. DMG, was it DMG? I think it was DMG. Either, one of the, one of the pers people from Bungie said that they will not be selling legendary skins which basically tells us that this is not Eververse weapon or skin, which basically means this is a weapon in the game. And I still wholeheartedly think this is probably the raid weapon, the raid sniper rifle. 
I would almost put money down on that. Mostly because we're going to Europa and Golden Age weapons to me just makes sense. But I don't know much about the lore when it comes to that, so I might be wrong. So on with the video, let's go. Hunter, which is the Revenant, it's fucking cool. Cool name, no one can tell me anything. The only thing that's quite unfortunate in my opinion is the fact that the super is not like it's not a duration. It's more of a just a one-two, which in my opinion sucks. Now let's actually go back a little. If you guys have didn't see that. So the hunter throws a grenade, which looks like it stops or slows them. I'm gonna say it stops them because it looks like it stops them. And with one melee kills two guardians. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, PvP is fun. So initially, I was just kind of like, ah, it's gonna be that crazy. Looking more and more into it, it's gonna get fucked. So, the grenade looks like it becomes a catalyst for the for the melee to one shot people. If that's the case, it could be really stupid. So that's all I'm gonna say. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Titans Behemoth, awesome name. Dope as fuck name actually to be quite honest. And this is actually a duration super, which in my like I just mm. So the reason I don't think it's cool for the Titans, it's because look at this. That's a grenade that doesn't count. This is the part. So he's slamming right now, which means all of those guys are instantly frozen. You know what's crazy? He still has a super. He can still go somewhere else and freeze other people. And I'm not saying like hunters should get the same thing. Fuck that. I'm okay with us not having a duration super. It's just that I don't think a super that is a duration super and that can not only slam people and make them stop moving, but also do other stuff like melee and stuff like that. I don't think that's the wisest idea. That's just my two cents on it. Hunters, I don't, I guess they're whatever. Like, actually, I don't even know what they do. Like, he, I, I see he throws it and then like he goes to other people, I guess. I think their melee might be a little too much because if I remember correctly, we get two melees. So, might never, actually, now that I really think about it, all of this is probably subject to change as in a lot of things like maybe the two melees for the hunters I know that's for sure not in their subclass. That, this is the this is the thing that kind of sucks. If you guys don't know, I posted the Warlock one first because I wanted to do this one after. And we got introduced to the customization options for the subclass. And a lot of it's like, like if you guys see the, the rift right here, let me see if I can go back to it. That right here so this is not part of the initial subclass that's actually a a custom customizing option for it so a lot of the things that we see all of the guardians do might be things from the customizing portion of it so maybe maybe hunters do have a, a duration super but you have to unlock it same for the titans and warlocks and whatnot Actually, not for the Warlocks and Titans. I'm pretty sure those two are specifically duration supers. But what I'm saying is, all of this is probably super different, as in, like, maybe the Hunters don't have two melees. Maybe you have to unlock that ability. So, I can't even say, like, oh, that, that was two melees. You know, now we have two melees. Because, unfortunately, like, even that drop for the top, for the Hunter right there, this one, it might be an ability that we can customize that we can just put into our hunter so unfortunately we just have to wait until all the classes are available to us in the game because again all of these subclasses and all of the customizing abilities are found in the world which is cool i like that idea it's just that it's as like in an mmo specifically i'm comparing this to world of warcraft I love it because in WoW it's, it works the same way, but you need to do certain things. And Destiny has not been the greatest when it comes to difficult content or like some of the coolest things being behind something difficult. 
So it would be refreshing to see like maybe a certain ability only drops in a raid or a dungeon or insert really hard thing here, you know? So there's just so many, there's so much potential for this. And again, I keep going to potential for Destiny 2, which is at this point an oxymoron. But again, it could be really cool. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show the B-roll footage because honestly, it just shows the names of the supers and a few things here and there. So... So I ended up just looking up the b-roll footage because I know people are gonna want to see it and it's gonna be weird because there's no music so I'll just put some music in the background there is like actual gameplay sound effects just not music so as you guys can see it's basically stuff that we've already seen we haven't seen this part which we see the new uh, bow which is cool the new super which dude there's a lot of things like I said there's a lot of things in this that we've already seen and then a lot of things that we haven't seen. There's a new exotic that's coming out in Beyond Light. Uh, no time to explain. I think it's called Titan Super. New pulse rifle. New areas which look really cool. If I'm gonna be, if I'm being honest, it looks really fucking cool. Fallen themed armor looks really cool, really fucking cool. I'm excited for it. So Titan Super is called Glacial Quake, and again, I just don't know how I feel about it being the duration when it's like this much. But again, whatever the fuck ever. Quality is pretty shitty. Sorry about. That. Actually, it's. I don't think that's my end. Again. My qualms about the Titan Super is not PvE related, it's mostly PvP related to be quite honest, but what the fuck ever. To be honest, all of my like my problems with all of this stems from the idea of how it's gonna work in PvP. So if you get that's the hunter one, it's called what is it? I can't even fucking see that. Jesus. Quality is so bad. Is called Silence and Squall, which is cool. Yeah, it just looks in interesting. It's interesting to be. So it looks like we have two melees there, but again, cannot confirm if it is to base value or if it has to be an ability. Dude, I don't know why, but every time I see like these gameplay trailers. For some reason, like, the people who are playing it just seem so robotic. I, I guess I'm just... I don't know. Why am I freaking out about Titans having their super like that? I don't know why. Uh, I probably just hate Titans. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, I'm loving pretty much everything. The whole stasis problem with in pvp is it's gonna be a problem guys like let's just say it. if throwing a grenade turns you and turns you uh frozen and then a melee or anything can kill you that's probably gonna be a problem uh because like the stasis field is so massive it, there's just so much like obviously the subclasses are gonna be broken when they come out because that's kind of how everything works in ga video games when a new hero or a new subclass or a new insert something here, it's usually broken so that people want to buy it or want to like just get it. And then they tune it later. I mean, that's how it's worked for pretty much everything I've played at least. And yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be bad for a while. In PvP, it's it's gonna be fucking bad. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about the B-roll footage. I think it was pretty cool. It's creepy that there's no music, but I mean Ultimately, they, we did see some of the new names for the subclasses supers and like other things here and there, but I just don't think it was just so much that it was like, I like, oh my God. Honestly, I just, I wish there was a little more. So yeah, if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. All the new subscribers, everything. 
the views are up uh subscriptions are up i really appreciate all of you guys uh remember make sure to subscribe follow me on my other social media outlets if you guys want to follow me there or talk to me in general and just be safe guys you guys know what's happening in the world and i will see you guys later